Fragilities. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Charlie Bravo, Bucks and Brown Coat. Hello there. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. We got a TV in the house. Hello, hello, hello. Getting the gang all together. Hi, kitten. Heat lamp is also here, in case you were wondering. Yeah, he's uh he's already fixing to make a pest of himself, I can tell. But that'll be fun too. go how's it going everybody welcome to casa de nerd here we game i am the mad irishman and we're gonna be doing some more cataclysm today because i had fun last time so we're gonna do it again uh found a dnd &D setting where scum guys play a trash pen and she didn't even care she'd be taken over by lizard people uh no but work is basically breaking her will to live uh so it's probably that she's just uh very stressed out overworked underpaid uh you know the usual the usual kind of stuff that goes along with having a job you hate not that i would know anything about that all right uh so yeah we're gonna do some uh some cataclysm again we had a, a pretty good run of that going yeah exactly exactly i i i know i don't have to explain it to you <laughs> i know and it's not even necessarily that place i'm sure everybody here has had a job or is actively working at a job that they can't stand and if they thought they could get away with not paying bills for a couple of months to find another job they probably would do it i feel you i was there I worked a job I hated for 10 years. Um, I was very good at the job, but I hated it. I hated every minute of it. I would wake up in the morning and actively dread going to work. I would, you know, it was one of those things where if I walked outside and got hit by a bus, yeah, at least I wouldn't have to go to work that day, you know, kind of thing. So uh, thankfully I don't work there anymore. I have a much, much better job now that has normal levels of stress. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, the uniform was, uh... Yeah, you know, it was pretty slick. But, uh... The pluses and then the minuses, right? And you can't really see my hand because the camera's cut off. But uh, the, the minuses far outweighed the pluses. <clears throat> so... Yeah, yeah, I, I saw the new uniforms, and they, they look good, but, I mean, as much as I hated it there when I was there, you know, the first time around, or not the first time around, but earlier, um, like, everything sounds like it's ten times worse than it was now. So I was like, well, guess I got out at the right time. <laughs> so, it is what it is. Uh, like I said, the job I have now... I work in IT, so I just have usually the normal levels of of stress. Because you're you're probably never gonna have a job where you don't have stress and stress related stuff, right? Like even being a streamer, a lot of people think sh being a streamer is like the ideal job, and it's this great lifestyle and everything else. And <clears throat> I'm very amateur, obviously, um, but I'm I'm here to tell you from knowing bigger streamers, it's it's. It's the same thing as any other job you've ever had. There's there's after work hours, there's things you gotta you gotta do that you won't wanna do. Uh there's asshole customers that you're gonna have to deal with. Like it's no different than any other job. You just don't get health care. <laughs> so I would argue that it's probably worse than your average everyday job. But thankfully, I don't need it as my source of income. I do this because it's it's fun. I like doing it. Um, and when I have spare time, I try to. So today I got lucky. Uh, I left the office early. I left the office at noon because uh, the storms were getting really, really, really nasty around here. Um, I was like, well, there, there were parts of uh, this because I work in the city over from where I actually live. So it's like a 35 minute drive. Um, and there were parts there that were starting to lose power and internet from the storms and further north it was it was better so i was like well i'm gonna head back to my apartment before it gets it gets nasty out and then i'll finish the the day from here so i finish some stuff up and i have a usual standing meeting towards the end of the day and that's usually where i call it a uh, call it a day well that meeting got canceled last minute and it's like well I have an hour before work would normally be done. I don't have anything I can really get into that's going to take less than an hour or an hour to get started. So I was like, well, I'm just going to hit the gym and I'm going to, you know, clean up the cat box and there's some dishes and I don't have to worry about, you know, doing anything with dinner because we got leftovers. It's like, dude, I got, and, and the girlfriend's working late. So I was like, I got two and a half, three hours to myself. I'm going to stream again. So here we are. All right, so I think the first thing we're going to do. Hello? I don't know why it does this. Uh, little Stream Raiders. Uh, there's a new event that started. So we're going to get started on that. And then uh, we'll get into the we'll get into the main game. I still don't understand why I have two of each of these. I've seen other captains that did not have this. Uh, looks like these bugs are weak against archers, so we're going to drop an archer out there. We'll put him in the back. So that we can put tanks and warriors up front. Um, and then I would say, you know, tanks. Warriors. Uh, maybe some heals and some ranged. I think I think that'll be all right, buddy. You are just the cutest thing. All right, so we'll get that guy started. Get the main the main stream fired up. There she be. Let's uh, let's check in on the lamp cam real quick, like. He's uh he's right over here, right next to me on his little pillow. So we'll be checking in with uh with that boy periodically throughout the stream. It's not a great place for the camera, but it's really the only one I have right now. Got to move it around. Uh, if I can not knock my, my camera over.
Oh boy. Let's see if that worked. Oh, oh, look at that. Buddy. Mm. Look at this guy. Look at this freaking guy. Ah, blah, blah, blah. All right. <laughs> Problem is, is he never sleeps in the same spot for more than a couple days and then he just gets bored and goes and finds a different place to sleep so every time i set the camera up he's like oh i don't i don't want to be any part of this so i'm just gonna go sleep somewhere else <laughs> all right let's get going i did um in between the last episode and this one, I did go through and do my zone manager. So basically for doing all my sorting. So this is all the stuff. It's all set up in the uh, the kitchen area right now. Um, we can do some fixing of this if we need to in the future. But for right now, this is pretty good. We can drag, uh, you know, some of these shelves out. Maybe put them back here against uh, this wall, smash this trash can, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, we're getting we're getting pretty tired. It's four in the four thirty in the afternoon. Uh, we got light weariness. We don't want to get too far down into weariness because it becomes harder and harder to recover from. Um, let me see here. We're lightly weary. So if we go to extreme. We're going to take some penalties, but other than that, we're okay. Um, we should probably... Well, we can wait till before we go to bed to do any bandaging up. <clears throat> but I think what I want to do is I want to tear uh, some more of these chairs down in this table. Because we don't need all of this here. I'd rather have the, uh, the supplies, to be perfectly honest. Oh, tools. Tools! We need tools. Where did I put tools? That's weapons. The so tools has got to be right here. Oh. Uh, where did I... What did I do with tools? Yeah. Okay. Crowbar. Uh, wield it. Get items. Hammer. And then we'll take the pocket knife too. Yeah. Okay. So we should uh, should be good to start disassembling this. Uh, oh no! I need the screwdriver, not the hammer. Well, we'll get. Uh, we have a screwdriver. Oh, it's in the sling pack. Okay. Uh, let's... Okay, we gotta unload the sling pack. And now we can drop the sling pack back down there. Still getting a little used to the nested inventory. Aha! Alright, so take that apart. Alright, take this part of the table apart. And then we're going to take this part of the table apart. And then we're going to take this part of the table apart. And that's that's putting us into moderate for weariness. Uh, so we got we to gotta be careful here. I'm going to drag all this stuff back up here and then just let him sort it out. Uh, there's a container in there. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's grab this chair. Let's drag it over this way. So that when we craft, we'll have a comfortable spot to sit. So we can sit right here and that should be... Oh, you know what? Right there. So right there, we should be within range of everything. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So even stuff in here, I should, in theory, be able to grab from here. Nope. Okay, so I'd have to be one down to grab that one, but that's that's like my medical supplies and stuff, so I'm not terribly worried about that. 
but any any craft should be able to access any of these inventory spots you know within five spots of me here I don't have to go grab like minecraft where I go, oh, I gotta go back to my chest and get this piece of stone that I forgot in there like as long as it's within five of you uh, you're good all right uh, thirsty went out for a walk and it's um, well, right now it's 84 out uh, but it was like the wind was hot. Oh, it was terrible. Um, we're hydrated. What do we? We don't really have much for food. I mean, we can cook these uh, these fiddleheads. We do have some oil, so we could probably fry them. Bambycraft, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so we could probably cook those if we need more food, but I'm I'm really worried about this weariness thing. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go take a nap. Uh, because I want to be able to go out at night and do some raids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I, I, thought I recognized the name. Hey, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate the lurk. No problem at all. Um, I want to try to get back into the evac shelter here. Um, and get, because there's a ton of food and water in there. But it got overrun by Zeds when we first started the game. So, I'm hoping maybe I can sneak back in and grab some of the stuff that's in there. Um, so actually, let's grab, I gotta clean this stuff up. Uh, let's grab the sling pack. And we got another messenger bag. We got a leather backpack. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all, <laughs> all this uh, storage on us. And it's going to encumber the hell out of us. But as long as we don't get caught in a fight, we should be okay. So the idea is to get everything, throw it in bags, and get out of there uh, before we get seen. Um, but we're going to have to wash a couple of these things before we do that. So... <clears throat> Let's make a washboard, assuming we haven't already. I don't remember if I did. No, I didn't. Okay. <clears throat> we need to make a washboard. And then we need to make a wash kit. And... Did it put it in our inventory? Where did it put it? washing kit right here uh so we should uh oh we didn't grab this ah, we don't have the soap because the soap was in the other place so we can't clean this stuff up which is unfortunate um and i because i took the squeamish negative trait i i can't even put filthy clothes on uh, normally you just get a modifier to uh, getting an infection if you get attacked. But I can't even put them on because I'm squeamish, so. Okie dokie. Let's go take a nap. Uh, no, not save and quit. Uh, not smash. Aha! Uh, set alarm to wake up... At 6 o'clock, if we wake up in 4 hours, it'll be 10 o'clock. It'll be pretty close to dark, so yeah, let's do that. Um, Continue trying to fall asleep. It's not going to let me fall asleep. So, I'm I'm moderately weary, but I can't do anything about it, apparently. That's, that sucks. Uh, we wasted some time, I guess. Hey, Veru, what's going on? Welcome on in. Uh, we're gonna have to cook something. Uh, we're gonna have to start a fire. Uh, we can cook some wild vegetables. Yeah, cook all five of them. Extinguish the fire. Uh, not a lot of calories there. Just fire them all down. Yeah, so in point F, they changed it so that in order to deconstruct furniture... Yeah, 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 this is... We're still on day one. 
uh, that you need a tool with prying of one or more instead of a hammer. So I had to make the uh, makeshift crowbar early, and it seems like it's actually a little more useful now. I don't think you can uh, break doors open with it still. Uh, I think the only thing you do is crates, but you need it for crafting. So... Uh, I'm still kind of coming to terms with, uh, with the weariness, and it looks like it actually transitioned back. So I think even though we didn't sleep... Yeah, yeah, F is stable now. Uh, even though we didn't sleep, the weariness seemed to climb up, so basically we, uh, maybe this is a good time to do some reading. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This one doesn't say it's just for fun, but it feels like it's just for fun. And we'll read it. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll read all of these. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so far, I've, I've definitely noticed that the, uh, like I said, the, um, there's a ton more skills now. So we've got, uh, uh, applied science is new, uh, survival is now, or, uh, cooking is now food handling. And I'm assuming this is more like, kind of like chemistry, uh, type stuff. And then we've got, uh, healthcare, devices... Uh, there's a, a, instead of driving, it's vehicles. So they changed a lot of that. Um, they added, well, this was in late 0.E, uh, experimental, but they added proficiencies now. So they add to your skills. Uh, the weariness is there. They supposedly did a little bit of rework on the hunger. A bunch of other stuff, but, um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's do some reading. Uh... There we go. Had to remember the button. Uh, the nested inventory seems very stable. Uh, I'm still... Yeah, okay. See, most of the time when it has the uh, parentheses and a number in it, that's how many times you can read it before you get bored with it. Um, but it's generally not a skill book that's like that, so that's interesting. Uh, I haven't had any problems with the nested inventory other than, you know, just trying to get used to it, right? Um, it's, it's still laid out a little weirdly, in my opinion. But I guess it's one of those things that once you kind of get it, you kind of get it. That really didn't do much for our inventory, but it only takes a couple of minutes uh, to read through these. All right, so let's see. Uh, computers doesn't help us. Social doesn't help us. Food handling... Health care. Um, I think we're going to do this for... It's nine minutes a chapter. Yeah. Well, and you can you can have, like, go bags. You know, so you could have a bag with, you know, uh, a backup weapon, a little bit of food and water. Um, that kind of stuff. Um, I think each... Well, I guess you could nest an inventory inside another inventory, but then it would take up the amount of space as the the first inventory. Does that make sense? So, like, if you put something that has five liters of stuff in it in a backpack, it's going to take up five liters in that backpack. But, but you know, my, my big thing is, like, by the door, I could keep a bag with uh, some emergency food, some emergency water, matches, um, fuel, uh, a weapon a knife, you know, a couple of tools, and then if I ever get overrun and I need to get out of here quick, I don't have to worry about leaving everything behind. I can grab that bag and go, and then at least be able to have a better chance of surviving out in the wilds. Um, but, I mean, you could do a lot more with it, uh, too. That's just, that was my immediate thought with nested inventories. All right, so let's do, uh, let's do some reading. Yeah, so our, uh, all right, and now we just became tired, but I watched my weariness transition up a level, so that's also good. Uh, we've got two books that have recipes in them. Uh, that's why they're yellow. Uh, so we don't want to get rid of those, so we'll keep those nearby somewhere. I'll figure out a place to... better place to put them. Um, uh, for right now, they can go next to the chair. 
Uh, so, since I got tired, I'm gonna try to take a nap before we, uh, before we try to do a late night raid back into the evac shelter. Um, we're only gonna get maybe, well, three hours. It's, that's the, that's the best we're gonna get. And that's definitely helping with the weariness. Okay, so we're fresh again. We're very hungry. Which sucks because now it's dark. Uh, it's going to be harder for us to cook, but we'll have to light a fire anyway, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. Uh, let's see, what kind of food can we make? We've got sautéed fiddleheads, so we could use a bunch of that cooking oil. Uh, yeah, so do like, I don't know, five of those. Use the water. Uh, eat the sautéed, wow, look at the calorie content on that. It's gorgeous. All right, so we'll eat two of those. Oh, they added a they added a, a thing on there for um, its health stat too. So that'll actually raise my health stat, so it'll make me healthier, less likely to uh, get sick. Uh, let's drink some clean water. All right, so we're good to go out and about. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, I'm going to get rid of these things and that. And I got to get my cudgel. Uh, just uh, just for the defense, I'm not planning on fighting. Because it would seem like an extraordinarily bad idea. Uh, what I'm going to do... Yeah, I left it over here. I'm going to wear the sling pack. It's gonna, you know, you can see they're, they're encumbering me, but it's only adding an extra two encumbrance. Not that big of a deal. Ooh, my, uh, my hands and my, uh, face are cold. Uh, I don't think I have anything that I can do about that, though. I don't think I have any, uh, any clothing I can wear. No. I don't have anything. I could turn, uh... He turns a pair of these socks into some some mittens, I guess. But I think I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be fine. All right. So the objective is to sneak back over here, make it into the evac shelter, and get all the food that we left behind, and then anything else after that is kind of gravy. Uh, but that's that's going to be the goal. Let's get to it. Uh, we're not going to follow this road because we don't want to go into town any more than we absolutely have to. Because towns are where Zeds are, and Zeds are bad, okay? So, you know, during the day, we were able to see, obviously, much further, and there was a lot more scary stuff out there. The way it sits right now is because my perception, yeah, yeah, it's because my perception is higher and I have night vision, I can see two, three, four, five, five slots out, and it looks like there's some moonlight too, so that's probably helping. Yeah, so we started in the shelter here with Santiago Rogers, and um, I was still kind of trying to remember how to play and I made a few flubs that made some noise and maybe exposed our position. Um, although the Zeds didn't show up until way after that, like hours after that. So maybe it was just the noise I was making, but uh, yeah, about five of them piled in and Santiago Rogers put up a fight, but you can see that it doesn't show him any longer there. So I'm assuming he's dead. Uh, so we bailed out and we kind of came over this way, uh, hit the water, decided to come this way. There were a couple of Zeds here, so we ended up looping. I almost pointed at the screen like you can see it. Jesus Christ. Uh, kind of looped through here and then back up and ended up up here, which we saw this place to start with. And there was a Zed, but I decided it was worth the risk because we did have the cudgel. So... Uh, we ended up not getting infected, uh, so we got lucky. But yeah, I mean, it, it's on the outskirts of the city, but yeah, it's not an ideal starting location for sure. 
Alright, so here's that SWAT boss that we never got a chance to look at. It's got controls. It's got a security system. So unless we find the keys, we're not going to be driving this. But it's got wheels. Ah, uh, the car bat, the battery's borked. So that's unfortunate. But we got an MP4, uh, a UMP45, which is similar to an MP5, but it uh, uses 45 cal. Did it have a faulty engine too? All right. So we're gonna grab that. That's our. We don't. Uh, we got a Glock magazine for 40 cal. So it holds 40 S&W or 357 SIG. Those are radically different rounds. That's pretty weird. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, it did have a faulty engine. Um, I don't think we can look to see what the fault on the engine is either. Uh, that being said, there's a possibility that we could fix this up in the future or just rip all the armor plating off and put it on something else. So, um, this, this is a good find. It's only got 15 rounds in it and it's going to be an absolute last resort. But if we find ourselves in a situation where maybe <laughs> we come around a corner and there's, uh, you know, there's a, a a hunter or something there, like a feral feral predator or something. That that guy's coming out, and uh, noise be damned. All right, this is another car that we saw. Security system is smashed, but so are the controls, so it's not drivable. One tank is leaking, but the other tank is fine. Uh, so it's it's unfortunately it's not drivable. But still still good to know where it is. It's always good to be able to strip cars for parts. I can see the computers on through the smashed window. All right, here's where all the food and everything was. Medical gauze, bandage, aspirin, protein rations. Let's grab 20 protein rations. Uh, let's grab five bottles of water. Okay, that's a, that's a good start. Romulan 9! Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on in. Let's see here. Uh, that's... Dude, is he still alive? Oh my god, he survived! <laughs> well... <laughs> well... <laughs> he survived um he's got a deep bite though uh okay yeah right he did that he took out five zeds because he took all of these guys out at some at some point through here and he smashed them so we got, uh, we got a Zed here. Right, this is a tough zombie. A zombie child. A zombie. That SWAT cop must have wandered off then. So it looks like he took out three. Cromulon, how's it going? Uh, there's a zombie dog. So he took out four. But he ended up with a deep bite. So he's proven that he's able in combat. I think we have antiseptic. I think we should spend some antiseptic and try to clean this guy's wound and keep him alive. Because other than that deep wound, he's really not that messed up. And if we let this progress, he's he's going to end up infected and then it's going to be game over because he'll need antibiotics, which we don't have. I don't know how much time he's got left on this, but uh, I do think... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's not it's not great. Um, there's the antiseptic, so we're gonna grab that. I think he'll let us heal him. So if I use antiseptic, all right. So I just want you to know that we saved this man's life. He was content. 
to just stand here and let a deep wound become infected and die and turn into a zombie himself. We, we, we're, we're basically Jesus. <laughs> All right. Uh, so a head scar. We we don't have. I don't see anything that we need. Right off the bat. Electric socks aren't bad. I can't believe he survived. I can't believe he survived. His stigmata, or it didn't happen. <laughs> All right. I mean, I've got some nails in here. We could drive a couple of nails through his hands. And, uh, you know, make it happen. Uh, so we got what we came back for and what we, what we needed. We're, we're going to take a flashlight as well. We're going to take on emergency, uh, blanket. So three volume. All right, so we should have volume left over. I'm just trying not to get out of control with all the crap we're taking. We'll take one of those. Hi, buddy. Uh, we need the soap. Let's take that. Let's take that. Um, I want to take the motorcycle helmet because I want to be able to clean it up. How much free space we got now? Hi, buddy! You are just... The last couple of days, you have been super needy. Come on up here. Hi, buddy. Look at, this, look at this guy right here. Oh, he's so rumbly. Bubba, you, uh, your tum is full of bees. You are very rumbly, sir. You can lay down there. That's fine. Yeah, meow. I, I agree. Lamp has graced you with his presence. Climate anxiety? What do you mean? Oh, scritchies. I think he just needs scritchies. And uh, the last couple times I streamed, he got a lot of uh, T-R-E-A-T-S. I actually have to spell that out because he knows that word. Hi, buddy. Johnny Plow, what's up, dude? Yeah, thanks for coming in. Thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. All right. So, uh, we could probably grab some more stuff. We don't have a lot of... Uh, sometimes you just need scritches. Sometimes scritches is all you need. I'm going to take this tape. Um, we don't need any of this plastic. We have a better first aid book than this. Let's take the saline. Let's take the adhesive bandages. Um, I don't know how much inventory space we have left. We're going to take four more bottles of water. Um, yeah, we're, we're in, we're in a lot better shape now. All right, we're going to head back home. Ooh, stream raiders. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go check that out. We, we're, we're in a little bit of a lull. We can, we can check out stream raiders. Okay. Yeah, I got it. All right, view battlefield. Where are we at? Ooh, we got a lot of people here. Jay Hockett, Jay Hockett. Oh, Hockett's got some high-level stuff here. Uh, Vixen. We've got more stuff from Hockett. Man, Hockett and Vixen. There's turkey bacon. Got a couple of dudes on the field. I like it. Ooh, turkey bacon with the monk. All right, let's do it. Should be, uh, should be crushing this. Oh, my goodness, kitten. That was... Very cute. Oh, Charlie Bravo with this paladin up front just tanking hard and heavy. Nice. Good job, everybody. All right, let's, uh, yep, all the rewards we can to the viewers and random rewards. Charlie Bravo gets a barbarian scroll. Turkey Bacon gets 10 gold. Outstanding. All right, where are we going next? Um, we go this way and push further like this, but if we go up here, there's a gold chest. 
So I feel like that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I don't know what loyalty... Oh, so that's like a mini boss. Wait, no, these are loyalty boss chests. This is a loyalty token chest. I don't know what that is. That's part of the event. So I guess uh, let's push towards uh, the event. Let's do everything we can to get towards the event, and then we'll maybe come back up like this or something. All right. Let's start the battle. Uh, we got a couple of Gigan Toads that are weak against archers again. So, drop your arches. And then let's, uh, let's say we want some, uh, some tanks up front here. And some probably tanks over here. And then, uh, let's drop some, uh, some ranged guys back here. Epic Cyberbuster, nice. And then we'll do, uh, some, uh, just some support dudes right here yep good okay I got it support dudes there yeah and then we'll say uh, you know everything else is pretty much off limits Jayhawk had already put his stuff there and that's fine this is not and then I, I guess if you want to put stuff over here you know whatever peace peace oot all right. Cool. Head on back. All right. Thanks for uh, participating in the battle, everybody. All right. Let's head back home. So we know the way back here should, in theory, be fairly clear. Not to say that some random zed or bug couldn't have wandered in. Uh, but we we probably should be okay. I feel a lot better about our survival chances now. Um, getting that, getting that food and that water. It's not great food. Well, okay, it's it's very nutritious food, but it's it's like eating power bars, buddy. You are just too freaking cute right now. Every time I stop petting him, he just he just puts his paw and taps me on the chest. Dada, more scritchies, please. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we, we did good there. We got a motorcycle helmet. We got some soap so we can clean up a bunch of that, uh, dirty stuff. Uh, we got this, this H and K, uh, UMP. Which, if we're gonna go back out into the wilds, so to speak, I think we're gonna bring it with us still. Even though it does take up some space. Um, eventually we'll make a sling for it, and it will be in better shape, but I, I'd rather... This early on, I'd rather have it. Um, also, we need to reload this flashlight uh, with a disposable battery. Okay. So, we have a flashlight in case we need it. Let, let's head back. Honestly, I think we can make another run at that. It's only 3.30 in the morning. The older I get, the more time. Yeah, I mean, you know, scritches are comfort. And we all strive for comfort, right? We, we all try to be as much as we can in our lives, comfortable. Uh, be that, you know, quote-unquote luxury items that we don't really need, but they make us feel good, or, uh, you know, actual, uh, you know, needed items, a la Maslow's hierarchy. Uh, you know, food, water, warmth, shelter, safety, security. Or, uh, you know, pets. Mr. Lamp here. I, you know, I wasn't... I wasn't... I don't want to say I wasn't keen on it, but I wasn't like, oh man, I, I really want to get a cat again. Uh, I was just like, you know, yeah, get a cat. I like cats. I love cats. Um, and we can't have dogs, so yeah, let's get a cat. And now that I have him, it's, it's very much a trope, but I can't imagine life without him. Like, I can't imagine him not being here. So, yeah. But, I mean... You can get scratches from people too. Get a good, a good uh, back scratchy, especially with someone with some solid nails. They get that. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, on tap. Yeah, exactly. Like, you don't have to go. Uh, you don't have to go searching for it. You don't have to uh, 
God forbid, pay money for it. It's just, uh, it's just there, and generally speaking, available. <laughs> uh, I don't think we left anything else in any of these other lockers. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna take anything that's leather, or anything that I think, you know, might, uh, serve a purpose in the near future. Uh, cause leather is one of those things you always run out of. Uh, the headscarf, now that just covers the head. I want something to cover the face. Um, so I don't think we're going to take this, but if we disassemble it... It doesn't say what we'll get if we disassemble it. At least I'm not seeing it. Some things will say, you know, you get rags or cloth or, uh, you know, thread. Yeah, the old scalp, the old scalp massage is, is always, uh, always a good thing. I'm gonna take these strings. Those are always good. Uh, we'll grab a couple of sheets because those are never a bad thing. And then we'll grab what we can out of the uh, rest of this locker here. Grab all of those. Water's generally easier to come by than food, so I'm gonna grab the food. Uh, we can't grab the scrub brush. We can grab the scissors. Uh, we'll eventually need that USB drive for that dude's quest, and I'm not gonna be able to take these gallon jugs. Uh, the first aid boxes are empty. All right, let's uh, let's do it to it. Um, let's see here. Can I do? Ah, uh, uh, I don't remember the command. You bindings. Unbound. Oh. Really? Uh, add a local key bind. Uh, what do we wanna... Uh, nope, don't wanna do that. Layer earn it. No, don't want to do that. Uh, what key can I put this on? Wait, what? It says that there's unbound locally. I go to add a keybind. Okay, I don't know why. All right, so, Ketten, you are ridiculous right now. Um, I'm not. I'm not gonna worry about it. I was gonna do the auto travel thing to auto walk back home, but it's gonna be a a twat. So, I guess it's just not uh, not in the cards. I'll uh, I'll work on that later. I didn't think there was anything on this guy that we particularly needed. No. Alright. We can drop pretty much all of this stuff. Uh, actually, no. Don't do that. Don't don't drop anything yet. I want to do something first. Uh, this lighter. We got a favorite. The pocket knife. We got a favorite. Okay. Now let's drop everything. And it won't auto-drop the favorited items. Let's sort everything out. And the only thing that's left there is the wallet. Okay, we did good. We did good stuff there. Um, we got a lot of new things. We got some food. Uh, our weariness is, is fresh. We're unfortunately not tired. So... Until we're tired, we're not going to be able to sleep. 
I think maybe we're going to try to raid one of these houses. We'll, uh, we'll see what we can see. If there's anything that looks even remotely dangerous, we're going to probably get out of dodge. But they're pretty close, and we've got a little bit of time before it's daylight. That's a window. Oh, that one's open. I'm still getting used to the, the, the new texture pack. That window was open. We got we got a downfilled pillow. We got a patchwork quilt. Those things are nice, but they're not necessary. Uh, leather gloves we're absolutely going to take. Uh, undershirt we're going to take. And we're going to wear both of those. Uh... Layering is always a good thing. Our hands are definitely warmer now. Now we just need something on our head and our mouth. Oh, I should have taken that. Uh, uh, head wrap. That's okay. Not a big deal. Not hurting us. It's just, you know, letting us know that we're a little, we're a little chilly. This place has had Zeds in it. We definitely want to be careful. A pair of boots we're going to take. Because they fit and they're going to give us better protection than the sneakers. Eat your way to a fit physique. Books are... Internal combustion fundamentals. Books are really the, the best way to train any skills in this so anytime you can pick up pick up books absolutely do it heavy duty flashlight binoculars rubber boots grab them all grab them all all right we're in the kitchen cast iron frying pan uh we only need one fr uh frying pan and this one actually gives us a level one hammering Early game leather, anything is pretty much priority loot item, just below long life foods and good meds. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, anything leather that can be broken down or cleaned is going to give you better protection. Always wear layers. So, yeah, this is this is the same thing, except it gives us hammering. Uh, we're actually going to grab the fire extinguisher because I have lit my own shit on fire more times than I care to admit. Coffee maker... Uh, it's got a medium battery, but it also uh, does boiling for us, which is super great. Um, kettle will take. Got some uh, sealed food, but our inventory is pretty full. We'll take that peanut butter. Some cereal, some tea bags we'll take. Okay, good stuff. Uh, regular rags. Okay, so we're basically out of inventory space, but uh, detergent is always a good thing. We'll keep looking. Uh, cast iron pots. It's got a level three food cooking, which I do not believe this does. A level two food cooking. So we'll uh, we'll want to come back for that. bunch of random kind of garbage in there. Uh, there's some fresh food. Uh, honestly, I mean, this is going to go bad in 20 hours. So, I mean, this is, this is a season. Definitely want that. Uh, all of this stuff that's, that's going to take weeks to go bad, but uh, we're going to eat this right now because it's going to give us joy and calories. Uh, this is gonna go bad in three days, so we'll uh, we'll we'll make another trip for all of this stuff. This is all great candles. Uh, we've got a regular hammer, super good. Uh, I don't know if they fixed that or not. So right off the bat, uh, oh my god, I can't even fit strings. Uh, we'll have to come back for these batteries, this exacto knife we want. 
Uh, yeah, so when I started out, I was overweight, but I hit normal weight, like, the first day. So I'm not sure if you can do the old, like, well, I'll just eat a glob of pig fat, take the, uh, you know, the morale penalty, and then not have to eat again for a week. I don't know if they fixed that or not. I hope they did. Because as, as convenient and easy as that made things, it was horse shit. Real Digest Examiner, that's just for fun of survivors. No, thank you, RivTech. Thank you for good coffee. We'll always stay awake for you, RivTech. <laughs> uh, ooh. So these are actually useful to grab because you can read recipes on them. Uh, so there's a sewing book. Oh, God. Um... Oh, there's, there's so many good things in here. A pair of slippers. A pair of light gloves. Undershirt. A lot of good stuff in here. Um, and there's still a downstairs. There's a towel. Always know where your towel is. Soap dish, some cotton balls. Those are somewhat useful. Alright, so we're going to get out of here. Uh, we came in through this window over here. And we're going to head back home. And as long as it's still dark, we're going we're gonna to make another trip. We're going to grab some more of that stuff. Because there's lots of good stuff in there. This game will absolutely make you a pack rat slash hoarder. Uh, I do not want to get rid of the binoculars. Those are staying with me at all times. All right, let's head back. I'm, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is actually a dojo, the doctor's office, which also uh, we want to check out, but yeah, there's a dollar store, there's a gun store, two-story motel, that terrifies me, there's a hardware store there, um, a hardware store, yeah, there's the dojo right there, so, yeah, we want to see if we can get some martial arts books, uh, did we, hold on, did we take a martial art? No, we didn't, and we haven't unlocked brawling either, um, Hopefully we'll get brawling. Uh, but yeah, any any martial art would be good. Even even brawling isn't terrible. But yeah, ninjutsu that uh, half sound while movement thing is uh, is pretty incredible. So we already looked at that. There's nothing there that we need. Uh, we already looked down here. There was nothing here that really struck our fancy. Um. There was just that other pan we don't need. Um, all, all of the sealed and long shelf life stuff I want. Rag's always good. Um, I'm not going to take the, the bleach just because. Ooh, I thought about taking, um, you know, I, uh, and literally anything. Escrima is really good. Uh, what's, what's the, um, the French sword fighting one? Fjord, uh, something, uh, is actually really good. Silat, uh, it's knives, but it's pretty good. Like, most of the martial arts in this are, are pretty, uh, they're definitely better than fighting. A scream, yeah, the scream is really good. Uh, Krav Maga, Krav Maga is, is really good, but it's really specific. To the weapons that it can use, so it really pigeonholes you into a, a play style, which I don't like. But um, uh, I, I did. I started another playthrough with uh, Mythical Martial Arts on there, and also uh, the Crit mod, so you can do this the, like the Crit CQB. It gives you a ton of options. Uh, I do want that cast iron pot. Yeah, it's something like that, TB. Uh, none of these have any qualities that I can see, so I don't think we need any of them. But, 
uh, let's let's get into let's get into this fridge. Onion rings, pudding, pickles, almond milk. Can't grab. Uh, there's eggs. Yeah, Fior di Battaglia. Uh, mayonnaise, ketchup, beer. I gotta tell ya, I'm not going through the apocalypse sober. Uh, the orange soda is good too. Yeah, say I was pretty sure you were right about the translation. I just didn't remember what the the actual text was. Uh, this is great for when you just need calories. All right, uh, that's that's about all we can we can grab there. You know what I should do. There were there were some sheets around here, right? Um, you know what? Just uh, tear down the curtains. That's fine. Let's do a uh, makeshift sling. Is it too dark? No, we did it. All right. Wear the makeshift sling. Wield the cudgel. All right. So now we got, uh, we just tied our knot in a sheet and put it around our neck. But now it's space for more stuff. We just really don't want to get into a fight. We're gonna be in uh, we're gonna be in piss poor shape if we get into a fight. Hello, hello! Phantom Dusk. Welcome on in. Uh let's grab all of this stuff. Let's grab let's grab it. Uh the three liter glass jar is gonna be a bit much. Candle. Permanent marker. In case anybody wants to redeem any of those channel point rewards for naming an item, I'll need that marker. Batteries, strings. Yeah, it's a great game. Uh, I've been playing it since point C, uh, but I, I kind of let it rest for a while, and now I'm I'm getting back into it again. So uh, once point F came out, so yeah, it's a it's a great game. It's a great, great, great game. All right, so we've got all of that stuff. We got to try to grab some of these books. Uh, the So What one is so great. Uh, that's just for fun. That's a bow hunting book. Uh, that's just for fun, so those aren't terribly useful. E was version to start on. E was a good version to start on. Uh, C was a little rough. D is kind of, in my opinion, where it really started to, to really take shape. Um, and I know there's been people that have been playing since even before that. Uh, but I'm, I'm not quite that, uh, old school and hipster. We'll grab the light gloves because we'll need those for crafting other things. Yeah. So you started. You start on B. It was. It, my understanding is B was pretty rough uh, around the edges. All right. Let's check that basement and then we're gonna call this. A <laughs> I was wondering if I was gonna trigger someone with that comment. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's been a good roguelike, but just when you look... Okay, so may, maybe maybe I should phrase that better. When you look at the game now, all the stuff that's in it versus what it was then, um, it's it's kind of a radically different game. Ah, uh, there's all sorts of crates down here I can't pop because I didn't bring my crowbar. Okay. Oh, that's a tough zombie. But this is a survival basement. Um, so... Yeah, he sees us. He's slower than us, which is good. So we're gonna run. Uh, we don't... Nope, don't want nothing to do with that. Alright, so we're gonna stop running. We're gonna get out of here. But, that was a survival basement, so there's lots of guns, ammo... Uh, survival uh, supplies, that kind of stuff down there. Ooh, a great coat. Absolutely. You know what? Wear it. That's going to be... That's some great protection right there. Bash, cut, ballistic of four. Gives us some more... Uh, uh, some more uh, storage capacity, right? Uh, we're encumbered with all this shit, but that's a great find. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, Ultica, Utica... Uh, whatever it's called. This is the default in uh, point F now. So I was using... No, don't do a default character name. I was using... Yeah. 
Alt Altica. I don't know why the C's capitalized. Uh, yeah, Altica. So I was using uh, the undead, uh, the yeah dead guy tile set, but there's I, I don't even know how to classify it. Drama issues, problems, misunderstandings. I don't know. But uh, is that Alta Cataclysm? Okay. Um, with the dead guy tile set, specifically with the maker of the dead guy tile set. If you want to know more, go look it up on your own. Make a, make your own decisions. Uh, but it's kind of it's kind of panned. Like people are like, yeah, you shouldn't use it. So sticking with this, uh, this this came I so I went to Cataclysm or you know CataclysmDDA.org, downloaded point F. This is what was included in it. The only things that I have seen that it doesn't have a tile for is like weird stuff like horse tax. So I think I've only seen two items like horse tax and leather saddles were the only two objects I've seen so far that didn't have uh, an object. Sort it all out. Cool. Uh, so it is, it's still only 420. I think it gets light around 5 o'clock. Seeing that tough zombie in there, uh, startled me a little bit, though. Uh, let's do a note. Um, survivor basement. Uh, so we know to come back to that. Ultimate Cataclysm. Makes sense. Um... I think I like the Undead tile set a little bit more. Um, but that might just be because I'm more used to it. I can't say for sure. Yeah, there, well, there was that, and then there was a, uh, some supposed issue with the, the dev making some um, homophobic uh, remarks. And then as people who tend to make remarks like that do instead of apologizing and saying I'm sorry it was wrong uh, doubling down on it I was just like you know what this is between y'all and Paul I don't want nothing to do with that I'm just gonna not use that tile set I don't know if that's true or not feel free to go fact check on your own that's just what uh, kind of came up in the cataclysm discord a vehicle would be would be nice. A vehicle, even a bike. I would love a bicycle, actually. This thing looks trashed. No security system. It's got controls. It's got wheels. Uh, the um, dead guy tile set. GitHub CD. We're using it without giving credit, which is not cool. Got an engine, it's got an alternator, it's got a battery. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a drivable vehicle. Barely got any gas in it, but this is a drivable vehicle and it's an ambulance. An ambulance with jack shit in it, but it's an ambulance. Cool. We might still have to hotwire it. Oh, there's a wreck here. What is this a wreck of? That looked like... Okay. I say that looked like maybe it was like a... Like a part of an RV or something. Alright, a chest hole. Like... Yeah, well, and that's exactly it. Like, it's, just, it's what it's whatever people are comfortable with. Like, I'm not gonna tell you one tile set is better than another. Is that on the legacy version of it? All right. In any case, this is the official one now. So it is what I shall use. It's locked. Windows open. Perfect. Uh, long sleeve shirt. Take it. Got some pillows. 
Yeah, I don't mind the... Oh, can of soda. I don't mind the look of this at all. It's just going to take some getting used to. A baseball cap, a bandana, a leather trench coat. Oh, baby. Uh, so if we do... Oh, we have to... Mm, can I not... Yes, yes I can. Leather trench coat versus... Great coat. Leather trench coat... Less, slightly less coverage on the, oh no, it's better coverage on the arms and torso. Wait, no, that's not right. Oh, okay, the great coat covers the legs. Ah, Phantom Dusk, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Ah. Ooh, baby, baby. <laughs> uh, it actually looks like the great coat might be better. The It's slightly more encumbering, but it also gives better coverage and better protection. Great coat covers mouth. Does it have a, like a... A collar? <laughs> I forgot the word for collar. Uh, does it have a collar you can put up? Because it just says torsos, arms, and legs, where this covers arms and torso. Uh, it has a wide collar, keep your mouth warm, it's unencumbered. See, now, if I had just read a little bit further, I would have known that. Uh, it looks like it has... Where's the, the storage volume? Yeah, the leather will be more useful because the leather trench coat I could turn into a survivor coat. Um, so we're definitely gonna want to take that. Uh, but we got a we got a stream raiders battle ready to go. So let's get on to that. Twenty three troops, man! You guys are kicking ass. I love it. All right, uh, let's uh, let's go. Just crushed them. That other one's dead already. Yeah, that was uh, that was almost sad. That was almost embarrassing. All right, so I get three gold pieces. All the viewers get five gold pieces. And then we're going to pick a random winner. Turkey bacon, 15 more gold pieces. Well done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, Panda, what's going on? Uh, yeah, this is the newest version. And so far, the run is going very well, uh, which definitely means I expect the rug to be pulled out from underneath me very soon. Tank scrolls. All right. Uh, shrinking bronze badge uh, I thought I needed the battle pass to get these I don't have the battle pass but it's letting me collect them so I will collect them All right. good stuff uh, we completed a quest too yeah we won four battles so we get our spells finally very cool Yeah, yeah. Oh, the captains get it, just the viewers don't. Cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna walk into a house and be like, "Oh, this is a, this is a pretty nice place." There's gonna be a skeletal juggernaut just in there. Well, it was a good run, but we're dead now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The the thing you have to understand about Cataclysm, if you've never played it, is you have to understand that you're no matter how well you're doing, no matter how geared you are. Your life could come to an end in a second. And entirely possible that there's nothing you can do about it. Alright, so it looks like archers and warriors are the soup of the day on this one. <laughs> hey, what, what, what was that noise? You have died. Oh, well, fuck. Alright, so let's drop an archer there. 
Um, I don't really feel like doing a lot of battle planning, so, you know, just put, put stuff pretty much wherever the hell you want. <laughs> Do they really? Um, no, I actually don't, I don't care for that, to tell you the truth. Did, is, did they really add that in point F where normal zombies can drop CBMs? Because I know they used to have to be, uh, you used to have to either find them fresh, uh, in, like, labs, or you had to, uh... Well, yeah, you do still need it, I guess, so I guess maybe it doesn't matter. But you used to have to dissect, um... Should probably... You used to have to dissect certain, uh, certain Zeds, right? Like, the, uh, bio-operators and, um... The, uh, the electrified ones. All enemies have a chance. Yeah, do they? Yeah, I mean, I guess that's a question. Like, is it in the loot table, or do you have to dissect them? Because if you just dissect them, you know, that's still something you have to consciously do, and it takes time. I'm not nearly as opposed to that. I mean, I'm not mad about it, but I would. Uh... Who keeps peanut butter candies in the bathroom? Off oh, syrup. I don't know if we need the multivitamins. We're gonna take them. I don't know if that's a thing in this uh, in this version. Bottle of sprinkles. You have to dissect. I don't. I don't hate that. Then, because you still have to put forth a pretty time consuming a casserole. I want that. Uh, it's a pretty time consuming thing to do, and your chance goes up as you get better. So I don't I don't hate that. I really don't. European Pilsner. Some more eggs. So this is this is weird and I'm not sure if this is like cuz this shows cold. Um but it doesn't show that it's sealed because it's eggs. Uh but it also doesn't Show that it's blue, like it's going to go bad. So I'm, I'm a little, a little weirded out by that. Chalky milk, doubt, uh, pickles, chili con carne, fuck. I just realized how hungry I am. <laughs> a lot of good stuff here. Uh, we already got that. Uh, we'll take that. Take that. Dax CBMs this guy, and it was easy as pie. And the foods in containers don't say the spoil on the container anymore. Okay, so if I went like this and then looked at it in here, I would see. Well, most of these have a day still. So. I'm still not entirely sure. Is, is this just my chance of getting food poisoning, basically? Like, the lower this is, the more chance I have of. Uh... Yeah, sealed should be fine. Because sealed is going to end up being like, uh, you know, where it's going to have like this stuff where it's seasons. Um, but I thought there were more of them in there that said, don't, don't start a fire. I thought there were more of them that said sealed. Oh, that's how filling it is. That's not, ah, I was thinking this was like, say, okay. For whatever reason, my mind went to sanitation, not satiation. This is how filling it is. But then what's volume? I thought volume was how filling it was. <laughs> whatever. Doesn't matter. Because, <laughs> like, this is only 0 .07, but it's four bars of that how much okay so that's literally how much space it takes up in the container now because that used to be how much space it took up in your stomach weird okay so we've got eggs that are gonna be good for a week we can cook those those would be great those would be wonderful uh i guess i could take the horseradish mustard man i will we'll just take it all why not nothing in there and then there was nothing else in there. I'll have to come back and get all these, uh, 
gallon jugs. Eh, he said jugs. Cargo pants. Uh, they're poor fit. Well, all right, my inventory's almost full. They're poor fits, but I can resize them. Uh, cargo pants are are fantastic. There's another room over here. It's locked. I don't have a way to do anything about that, so for all intents and purposes, this house is pretty clear. How do I get in here? I got in here through over here. Alright, so let's head back. Because our inventory is pretty full. Um now my concern. Oh, a bicycle. Got foot pedals. It's got wheels. Okay. So I was just gonna say my concern is that when you back ambulances up, they beep, and it's gonna make noise and it's gonna bring out Zeds. Uh, so I might not want to do that just yet. Yeah. You know, there's like three people that have come in here like, Damn, I haven't played this in a while. I should start playing this again. <laughs> so I'm sorry slash you're welcome. <laughs> uh, this is the Ulta Ultica, which is Ultimate Cataclysm tile set. It's the one that comes default activated in uh, point F now. So this is, th I mean, this is a good find. Uh, no. Get items on the ground. I knew there was some stuff that was gonna... Okay, so that basket's pretty full. Let's see you guys go with you. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's no reason to immediately switch over. Especially if you're late in the 0.E experimental, like, it's not gonna be a lot different. Now, if you're running point E exper or a point E uh, stable, yeah, it's going to be a lot different. Hotkey for what? What did, what did I do? What did I forget? Texture missing from me. Yeah, I mean, there's still a few textures missing from this, but they're few and far between. Like I said, the only things I remember seeing were, uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's a, yeah, I'm waiting for my E to tune to die. There's a hotkey for that. You are correct. <laughs> uh, the only thing I've seen missing is, uh, like a horse tack and a saddle. The only two things I've seen missing so far. So, so far, so good. Uh, also, I should be taking these knives. I don't know why I was skipping the knives. We have a pot. Um, I don't need anything else there. I can't get into the this other room over here. Okay. So for all intents and purposes, this house is clear. Got Electronics 9 in a really nice house. Yeah. It's hard to walk away from that. Like, once you get settled in... You know, I had that one run where I was doing really well, and I had a full electric forge, and I was in a, a Last Man on Earth shelter. Um... Like, it, it was hard when when that character died. You know, I'll draw with that guy, but I really want a more stylized replacement if I'm not going to use it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I like this one. It's fine, but I do like that guy better. All right, let's, uh, uh, my, we'll get my bicycle back home. Oh, this was such a nice find. Oh! Apparently that is a brush. Hello? Backwards? I can't... I can't pedal backwards? Okay. Well, I guess we just drag it over here then. Well, if you're gonna be in the way, you're gonna not any longer be in the way. Oh, the the die katana? Uh or no, no, he didn't have a he had a, a no dachi that we renamed to the yes dachi. That's what it was. <laughs> I don't remember how he died. I can't remember if he actually died or if that was one of the ones where I tried to update and I accidentally corrupted my source file. But it was, uh, either way, it was a very unfortunate, uh, series of events.
Yeah, that was a good run. That dude was a monster. I know that uh, that Nodachi is just a disgusting weapon. Okay, so there's something right there that doesn't have a um, pile. I don't know what it is, but there's something in that pile that doesn't have a something in the pile that doesn't have a tile. Poet and didn't know it. No, don't want to do that. See, this is this is the thing that's kind of weird. I really wish that when it showed the three liter glass jar sealed and then the little carrot saying there's fruit jam in it, that it wouldn't show this underneath it or it would indent it and not allow it to be selected. Candy? Okay. Uh, so that would be the, the peanut butter cups that I found. Because that 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 confuses me. And I just I just can't get my freaking head around it. Alright, let's sort all this stuff out. And so I containers are the only thing I don't have a place for right now. And that's everything out of there, so that's good. Alright, that was a uh, a great day, a great set of runs. We're not hungry, we're not thirsty. We are chilly though. Um so I think think what we're probably going to do. We have a candle, right? We found some candles. Yeah. Okay, it's right next to me. Uh, it's only 38 out of 100, but I think we're going to light a candle. And we're going to do some reading. Uh, the only NPC we found so far was the absolute badass Santiago Rogers in here. Uh, we we just kind of left him for dead and assumed that he would uh, not survive our uh, tactical miscalculations, shall we say? That led uh, the zombies, about five of them, into our initial starting shelter right here. Uh, but he fought them all off. And uh, as payment for that, he did get a deep wound, but we used some antiseptic to disinfect him to keep him alive. So he's still hanging out right here. I should probably bring him back here uh, at some point. Uh, not this day. We'll grab all of these books. Um, we're going to activate the candle. And we're going to read... Bring your food handling skill to one, which it already is. Internal combustion fundamentals. Yeah, I just say mechanics four. The so what is very, very good. Lessons for a novice bow hunter. All right, so the eat your way to a physique has recipes, so that I'll go in the pile of books with recipes. Sorry, thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. Someone's messaging me on Messenger. Oh, someone's sending me TikToks. I don't care about that right now. You see, a church survive more than his four cards were able to handle. <laughs> it's it's really weird sometimes how the the NPCs survive or don't survive. Like I started in places that dudes had, you know, top tier weapons and body armor, and they just get slaughtered. And this dude's got like, I I don't even remember what he was wearing. It was like cloth stuff basically i think he made a leather coat and a machete and just just doing work just doing work uh i think it would behoove us to do the tailoring uh it's 15 minutes per um but tailoring is so useful so let's do it heard footsteps yes now that might be that horse there, there, there was a horse. It died to eight zombies. Basic zombie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's accurate. It's absolutely accurate. The cataclysm giveth. The cataclysm taketh away. Oh, found some wild vegetables. Oh, because it auto uh, foraged. A large rock. 
Has a level one anvil quality. Really? That's new. Heard footsteps. No. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the horse. It is. Okay. It's the horse. It's fine. I forget that door's down there. <laughs> so what I'm hearing is that he was fine until you showed up. Kind of sounds like maybe you got that guy killed. Not to not to put too fine a point on it. All right, let's do it. Ignore the footsteps. Ignore the footsteps. Uh, yes. Yeah, stop reading because it's light out, and we can extinguish the candle. We have an open window, so we can come over here and just read. We're still not tired. Uh, but we're uh, very hungry and thirsty. We can we can we can deal with that. Still got a bunch of these sauteed fiddleheads. Gonna fire all three of those down. We got some clean water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fighting for three die three days that died to less than he'd fought without backup. <laughs> Sounds like he just wore out. Like he was just like, you know what? I've been doing this for three days. I'm bored as shit. I'm just gonna let it go. I, I'm just gonna let myself die. <laughs> uh, I just realized I didn't do this, but it probably doesn't matter in any way, shape, or form. Uh, we're still not tired, so we have been awake for 24 hours with the exception of the three hour nap that we took and we're in surprisingly good shape so I'm not sure what's up with that uh, but we're going to dump these books now don't need them we're going to dump this stuff Dort. Don't need it. And we're going to get back to doing some uh, some crafty bits. So we need... wasn't even wearing armor. <laughs> you get like... Uh... Uh, no, this is a no meth run. This is a no meth run. Or are you asking if that dude survived purely on meth for three days with no armor? Because that is also a fair and legitimate question. Uh, what do we need? We need this, uh, we need this crowbar. Suppose, drop the item. Uh, you can get, get drug up there. Uh, what we need is we need to do some washing of some filthy clothes. That's what I want to do. So let's, we got a coffee maker too. We don't have any coffee. We need an atomic coffee maker. That's what we need. Uh, but we got the washing kit, so let's grab that. Mm. And we need all of these dirty, filthy, disgusting items. Hoodie and cargo pants. You know, there's something to be said for just dumb fucking luck. <laughs> you know <laughs> like you were the wrong you, you were the wrong guy in the wrong place at the right time kind of thing like I don't know if you guys are Shadowrun uh, players but like the dude had 8 points of edge and burned every one of them before he finally bit the dust <laughs> No weapons. He's just out there. <laughs> just undus, undus. <laughs> uh, soap. Give me the soap. Now oh, we got the detergent. We we'll, we'll grab. Well, we'll grab all of it. Uh, so we have that. Now we just need a a puddle. Oof. I mean, having the, the Glock and the Mossberg, I mean, the guns are nice, but 
early game they're almost as much of a death sentence as they are a help because they just make so much goddamn noise can't remember if we had found a, a puddle anywhere I think we ended up having to walk up to the river here to, to get water before so I think that's what we're going to have to do again I don't remember seeing a puddle Was there was there a puddle somewhere? Is that a church or a fucking murder cabin? That's that sounds like what you find in a murder cabin, yo. Uh activate washing kit. Wash the shit. Wash it all. Wash it all. Yes! The motorcycle helmet excites me. Um uh, no use the detergent. Uh, we're, we're upset because we're we're hot and wet. I oh, thank you. I didn't take rigid table manners, did I? No. So I still. I didn't realize that eating with a table and chair without um, rigid table manners gave you a buff. Okay. You'll be fine. Quit bitching. You survived the zombie apocalypse. Your shoes are a little wet and you're upset? Come on. At least it's a straight shot north. Not so bad. Alright, so... It just, it just doubles it. Alright, we can get rid of... Uh, right now, as far as I'm concerned, we can get rid of all of this stuff. Uh, that, that, that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I knew that it was a it was a buff, not a debuff, but I thought you only got that if you had rigid, rigid table manners, then you got buffed if you did it and debuffed if you didn't do it. Alright, so I want to get... I want to drop that for right now. And then I want to drop... Uh... Probably the messenger bag and the sling and the sling pack. Dropping the sling pack. What did what does the sling pack have in it? I right, try and wear it. Unload sling pack. Something weird's happening. Maybe worshippers. They were dino worshippers. I haven't done much with the dino mod. I did start a playthrough with it, um, but I haven't made it very far. I haven't even seen any dinosaurs yet. So that's got detergent. I'm not entirely sure what the items were in the sling pack. I unloaded it, and then, uh... So those are in my jeans. Okay. Yeah, um... I think I watched, uh, Turkey Bacon playing with it, and, uh, he was able to take out the smaller ones with the shotgun, uh, that I forced him to name the, uh, the Dino Tamer. Alright. Uh, so, yeah, we don't have anything in our head. So we got the motorcycle helmet, which is great for, you know, helping to prevent our uh, dome from getting crushed. So that's, that's pretty nice. It could use some repairs, but... Look like it had the binoculars. I mean, it kind of make it look. It kind of makes it look like it. it says you put the pair of binoculars in your inventory. You you drop the makeshift crowbar on the floor. It sort of implies like the sling pack had the crowbar in it, even though I know it didn't. 
I mean, if you took out a T-Rex with a cudgel and then bled to death afterwards, I think that's an honorable death. I, f I feel like you gave better than you got in that particular instance. All right, I feel a little bit better about that. Let's uh, look at our storage space here, too. So yeah, we've got uh, 25 vol 25 liters of volume in that uh, in that backpack. It's much better than that sling, so that's good. Sort all that out. What do we got here? Still just empty containers that I haven't put a storage location in yet. All right, let's do some fabrication. I fucking hate Migos. I hate them so much. Survival bow. Eh, I don't feel like that's going to be terribly, uh, terribly useful to us right now, especially since it doesn't train our fabrication or our survival. Pointy stick doesn't give us reach attacks, so I don't care. Uh... We have to do, uh... Reach attacks. I think this should be probably something we go for right here. You want those to me go? To be gone? Get out. Get out! <laughs> uh, the knife spear is... Oh, these aren't flimsy anymore. Wait, oh, okay, that one's flimsy, the simple knife spear. The knife spear... ...is not flimsy anymore. But neither is the wooden spear. I can make a tool with drilling one just fine. Fighting style moves work in conjunction with reach? Or don't? I don't have a fighting style anyway. But, I'm pretty sure... I got a carving knife. I could make a knife spear. And it's ever so slightly... Well, it's 15 pierce on both, but it's 4 bash for this and 5 bash for the other one. But it's slower. I guess the DPS on that's higher. That's pretty stupid. I feel like that's just something that... ...hasn't been brought up yet. Because the whole point of having reach attacks is that you don't get next to the zombies. Um... I think I'm gonna make a knife spear. So, I need something with, uh, quality drilling. Um, and this is... Oh, we have to do this. <laughs> ah, yes, the old turkey cheese. Those were the good old days. Go up to the roof and... Well, in point E, you didn't have to have a reach weapon to attack from a roof. I don't know if that changed in F, but you could just go up on a roof and punch zombies in the top of the head. So if you ever got surrounded, um, it was an absolutely cheesy... <laughs> there he is. <laughs> the old turkey cheese. Oh, uh, yeah. That, 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 those were the good old days. But that's something that I don't do unless I have a spear, because I don't think it out of the question to be able to from one store up are one story up to be able to take a spear and stab it down through the top of a Zed's head. So I will only do that with a spear. Yeah, you were complaining that, uh, you're like, man, my, my, my fingers are hurting from all this attacking. This is terrible. Yeah, dude, you can hold tab. Oh my god, the world has changed for me. <laughs> I don't do a lot of mods. Uh, well, this particular playthrough, because this is my first one, uh, with point F, the only mods I have are stats through skills, stats through kills, speedy decks, um, no NPC needs, 
and I think uh, the the map, the graphical over map. I don't really have any content changing mods. My next playthrough, I'll start throwing some in. Like I'll do crit, I'll do aftershock, um, I'll do dino mod. Uh, yeah, well, exactly. Like I I like adding the the small amount of an RPG element to it. Um, let's do the nail and the and the plank. Um, you know, so killing zombies doesn't serve the singular purpose of staying alive. It also will let you, you know, level up a little bit. Though, like, in our case... You know, we've only got three kills. And I think you gotta get to, like, 100 experience before you get a level and then it staggers. Like, you don't get a ton of upgrades. But, you will get some. Yeah, some of these are, uh... Some of these are stupid. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I needed the, uh, the drill. Yeah, and that's, uh... I don't... I, I, like, if, if that's how people want to play, absolutely. I'm not going to tell you how to play the game. Uh, if that's how you want to play, that that's great. Uh, but that's not how I enjoy playing the game. I like a little... Yeah, exactly. Like, it gets to the point where it's not even worth going out and fighting. Like, you can't just grind skills. Well, some of this stuff is, is starting to aggravate me. Um, yeah, 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 yeah being able to, to use those great bows because especially before they nerfed them like it was a ridiculous amount of damage those bows would do like just insane how much damage they would do uh no 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 that's what I want uh I also want this to be an unsorted pile next to the trash um, because then I can still just sort out my loot. But when I make stuff, I can just drop it here and then it'll put it where it's supposed to go. Yeah, like, I figure, you know, that's, that's how, that's how real life is. Like, if you want to become stronger, become faster, more flexible, become smarter, um, you have to work those things you have to work out you have to you know uh seek out knowledge uh perception i don't know maybe you shouldn't really be like i don't know what you could do in real life to increase your perception uh other than you know just training yourself to to listen better uh to you know work on active listening type stuff but like in-game stuff i don't know so much but the other three i think you absolutely should where's waldo books yeah i'm i'm once again, I opened my mouth and spewed out garbage and got knowledge and wisdom in return. Do some stream raiders. <laughs> uh, where are we at? Yes, we're doing it. Uh, you do not have enough spell tomes. Head over to the army tab and click on the spells tab. Oh, well, I'll do that after this. Uh, what do we got here? 24 allies. Shit. People are, uh, people are getting in on this. I love it. Thanks, everybody. Let's start the battle. That bomb went off right away and just did work. Ah, uh, the poor little flying rogue. This, this dude just kited him. He just kited him. Love it. Love it. Stream Raiders. Uh, so what Stream Raider is, is it is an interactive game that the streamer and the viewers can play together. Um, so if you go to uh, streamraiders.com, and you can sign up. If you already have a Twitch account, you link your Twitch account to it. It's really easy. Obviously, you do. You're here chatting. Um, and then you can, every five minutes, you can place uh, units on the battlefield. 
the more you play, the more coins you get, the more units you unlock, all that kind of stuff. And then the more battles you participate in, the more rewards you get. And it's kind of a fun little interactive game. And I've definitely gotten people coming in from Stream Raiders to watch my stream uh, because they found me on Stream Raiders. So arguably, if you are a amateur small-time streamer like myself, uh, ar arguably you have better um, findability on Stream Raiders than you do on Twitch itself. So that's fun. Lucid with the Healer Scroll and Charlie Bravo with three Archer Scrolls. Good job, everybody. All right, so we're going to head over to uh, this chest because I don't know what that is. But first... Spells? We can unlock spells. Curse, uh, haste, high ground, killing field, stronghold. I know what haste is. Uh, so, uh, boost ally speed by 100% for 10 seconds. Let's do that. So it looks like it just gave us one for free. And then uh, we have to unlock more. Yeah, I was, uh, I was streaming, you know, three or four days a week for a long time. And then I had some health issues and some work stuff and just a, a bunch of things come up that... Uh, made it really difficult for me to uh, to do it, so I'm trying to get back into it. Woof! There's a lot of dudes. Uh, looks like archers. Oh my god, archers. So almost all of these dudes are weak against, all of the regular ants are weak against archers. The red ants aren't weak against anything that I can put down, so they're probably weak against um, rogues. So I'm gonna drop. Let's let's start over here. I'm gonna drop a dude there, and let's see. Let's get some uh, some armored dudes up front with some melee dudes right behind. Get some support dudes on the sides, and let's get some range dudes behind. Yeah, I uh, heard you're uh, going to be uh, improving your intelligence score through some education there. Which is uh, definitely admirable. And uh, you know, if you want to put stuff over here, put stuff over here. Alright, so uh, go ahead and throw some units down, folks. This one's got a 4 out of 5, so it's going to be hard. So, any help is appreciated. And then, um... Employability score? Hey, can't argue with that either. Oh, an epic archer. Nice. Uh, th that'll probably be the last one. And then we'll, uh, we'll call it a stream, because I am getting, uh... I am, I am upgrading my, my status from hungry to, uh, fungry, which is a contraction of fucking and hungry, uh, if you're not aware, so... Uh, we're, we're definitely getting there. Alright, so we got that. Uh, we do want to make... What did we want to make? We wanted to make a, a spear. Code Fungry. Uh, we want to do the, the knife spear. We got the nail, we got the strings, we got the drilling. So we just need the knife. And these, uh... We got a paring knife and a steak knife. Ooh! Uh, I wish I could have potato chips. Fun food or a hungry fungus? Hey, who's who's to judge? Maybe it's both. <laughs> I mean, maybe I myself am an orc, and therefore a fungus, and therefore hungry fungus. Although I would consider that to be a hungrous, a hungry fungus. Uh, so apparently, the steak knife and the paring knife don't count, which is uh, which is unfortunate. So it has to be uh, a combat knife, or a chef knife, or a carving knife, or a butching, butcher knife. A butching knife? Um, that being said, getting an... Uh-oh. Some wander... Wander spawns over here. Oh, distance. I was like, why is it that it's 241 away? Yeah, that's why. Um, there were definitely some knives, uh, in one of these houses that I missed. And then there's more houses to search. So we'll be able to get a spear 
uh, pretty soon. So maybe uh, maybe we will end up with the uh, the wooden spear. We'll have to do it. Uh, you have to have a fire to do it, though. In your base. Well, that's some bullshit. A long, stout branch. How do we not have a long, stout branch? All right. Well, we can get one. Uh, cudgel, come with me. Hey, we got brawling. Five long stout branches. There we go. We'll need them eventually, so... Great to have. Uh, did that go out? No. Okay, it's just in between frames. Hey, that went out really fast. Alright, here we go. Love it. Love it. And I'm assuming it put it right here. Yep. So, dispose of the cudgel. Uh, drag it right there, and then sort. Okay. Yeah, the hauling thing is so great. Um, make sure your hands are empty, or it'll take double the amount of time. Because, I mean, at that point, you're just basically kicking it along on the ground. But in reality, all the hauling is, is just using advanced inventory to move from, like, 8 to 2, you know? Grab from here, put over here. Oh! Knocked over one of my lights. Got a little animated with my hands. All right, so we got a spear. I feel significantly better about things. Um, spears, spears make me feel good. What about armor? A net backpack. That's funny. Okay. Uh, two by shin guards. No, thank you. A chaplet. Bindle, knapsack, hefia. Uh, we have the motorcycle helmet, so we really don't need any of this. Foot rags, fingerless gloves. Uh, same name, Mad Irishman123. If you filter by uh, live, that'll, that'll help you find it. Gambison, yeah. Yeah, I don't, uh, pretty sure. Yeah, I don't even have the, the recipe for it yet. But, yes. Uh, we're getting ready to transition from uh, fresh to uh, light weariness, so let's get a book. Let's, uh, let's get so what? Auto at four. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do uh, a bit of reading. Uh, we just hit very hungry because we have a caloric deficit. Well, what do we have left to eat? Uh, the chocolate milk's gonna go down in a day. It's great stuff. Let's let's uh, let's pound it. That took care of our thirst and our hunger. Well, took care of our caloric deficit. Oh, first sets of pants you can make. Mad Ir it's the Mad Irishman 123. Better be on there. I'm online. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Uh, uh, right there. Right there in the, uh. In the upper left there. Should be it. Just look for my, uh, ugly sour puss. Uh, it'll be there. Oops. Wrong one. That's that's more of my ugly sour puss. I don't want that. Terrible. Plate armor, you say? Oh, I need uh, your house is in steel. Okay. <laughs> you say really? Ah, uh, yeah. Let, let's keep going with that. Let's keep reading. Uh, we're tired. We're gonna wait until... What we're gonna do is we're gonna let it get to be nighttime. 
And then we're going to do a, a quick raid. Doesn't find it if I search by part. If the part isn't at the start of the name. Oh, so it doesn't, like, wildcard it. You have to, like, it'll only search for... Okay. Well, we learned something today. That the search on Stream Raiders isn't great. <laughs> uh, I'm going to let it get to uh, closer to nighttime. I'm going to do another raid and see if I can get uh, some more stuff. And then uh, we'll go to sleep. Or, you know, maybe uh, maybe I should go to sleep now. And then wake up at night and then just spend all night doing raids. And then just when it becomes light, craft and read until I'm sleepy again. I think maybe that's a good idea. Uh, let's fire down some of this almond milk. Uh, we're still thirsty, but we've got... A lot of stuff in here, man. Okay, this is the one I was looking for. This is in a bucket. It's just hanging out in a bucket on my counter, so I want to use that first. Yeah, so I think that's actually what we're going to do. We're going to go upstairs. Uh, let's close the door. Close all of these windows. Let's head upstairs. There's still windows open up here. No, I didn't close all of the windows. There we go. Always keep your windows closed. All right, let's uh, let's get a let's get a nice snooze. And we'll wake up. It's two o'clock. Let's wake up in. Uh, let's wake up in six hours. Well, it's three o'clock, so that'll wake us up at like nine. We should get some uh, some good sleep. First day of the rest of their own lives. Survive for a day and find a safe place to sleep. There it is. All right, so we're very hungry. Let's, uh, let's work on that. You just... See, this is what I used to do, is just fire down mayonnaise. That's gonna expire, so... Yeah, let's do it. Gotta get those calories. Um, and did it... Yeah, see, it's the same thing. Like, it gave me all the calories I needed, and it's only a negative one to my morale. So, like, who fucking cares? I gotta tell you, I'd have to be in pretty dire straits to, uh, just take a spoon to a jar of mayonnaise and go to work. Like, I, I, I'm not, I don't dislike mayonnaise. I'm not a huge fan of it, because I think, by and large, it's overused. Like, you go to a, you know, uh, a sandwich place and you get mayonnaise on your sandwich. They, they like, fuck it up with mayonnaise. Like, no, I, I, a light, a light coating. Just enough to get the bread wet, right? So you don't have dry bread. Um, I'm fine with that. Um, unless you want to start mixing things like sriracha in it, then I'm a little more, I'm a little more open to suggestion. But, uh, just, just get in a jar and just getting a spoon and firing it down. Like, that's getting my gag reflex working already. And I know if Foxy Boxy was here, she'd be screaming right now. <laughs> screaming at the top of her lungs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Some of mayo. Not a ton of mayo. Um, I will say this, though. Mayonnaise is the superior fat to use when making a grilled cheese sandwich, and I will not hear otherwise. Uh, don't use butter. Next time you make a grilled cheese sandwich, don't use butter on the outside. Use mayonnaise. You're welcome. Yeah, that's, that's about where I am, Phantom. You know, just, just enough to... Okay, it's wet. 
I can taste it. It's it's adding to the sandwich. It's good. It's great. It's wonderful. Uh, it's not quite as dark as I would like it to be. So this is a little dangerous. But, um... Yeah, see, I can still see a horse over here. Um... That horse has survived incredible odds. Might I add. I do want all of these, uh, not the, I want the strings. Yeah, exactly. That, that's exactly what I don't like. You are correct. <laughs> See, I'm like that with peanut butter. Like, I could have a piece of bread and have a fucking inch of peanut butter on it and be a happy man as long as I have a glass of milk to go with it. Like, peanut butter toast and a glass of milk? You give me a gallon of milk, a loaf of bread, and a jar of peanut butter, and I will live for a fucking week. <laughs> that is a divine meal. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, like, before I really started watching my dietary intake and um i know i've already looked in this house i'm just making sure i didn't miss any knives uh before i really started watching my dietary intake and trying to lose weight and lower my cholesterol like i would i would crush one of the big like 64 ounce jars of peanut butter i'd crush one of those in a week <laughs> i love peanut butter but it's a ton of calories so like i have to really kind of ration it now yeah, I love peanut butter. And and crunchy peanut butter. Not that not that creamy wannabe bullshit. Like there's two types of peanut butter. There's crunchy and there's extra crunchy. That's it. Anything else is just like snot. Hot takes from Irish. <laughs> there's a butter knife. Oh shit. Um so I have a window right over here, above my monitor, kind of to the right. And uh, I have it closed because if I have it open, the natural light comes in and it fucks with my green screen. So I have to have all the lights in here off except for my light lights. Um, but even though the window is closed, I saw a flash of lightning through it. We've been having some nasty storms. So I'm going to go until Stream Raiders is done. But just FYI, it might cut out early. I have battery backups for all my stuff, my entire network stack and everything, but it, I don't get a lot of battery life with all the shit I'm running, so I might have to I might have to cut it quick. You've been warned. Okay, so there were no 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 knives in there. Uh, but there's the fruit jam, so we're gonna grab that. Battery charger we missed. Holy shit. Yeah, that's true. Spread crunchy peanut butter on a plain wheat tortilla and roll it up and eat that. That actually sounds really good. The peanut butter, jelly, cheese, and tuna sandwich. I want to hate that. I want to look at that and say, that sounds disgusting. But I'd try it. <laughs> I love all of those things. Uh, peanut butter's great. Jelly... Jam. I like jam much better. Um, cheese? I'm from Wisconsin, man. Like, don't come at me about cheese. I love cheese. This is body by cheese. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then tuna? I eat tuna every day because it's a lot of protein and not a lot of calories. Um, I'm not sold on mixed together, but I absolutely would try it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, pro like, that. there's a ton of protein in that sandwich, uh, right there, but, uh, yeah. Alright, uh, so, here's a question, oh, it didn't stay down, Ooh, that sounds, that sounds, that sounds bad. Did I, okay, I didn't grab it, I accidentally hit the wrong button. Uh, we're gonna grab this other flashlight, too. Only Kiwis are allowed to talk about cheese when talking to people from Wisconsin. <laughs> no one can talk to Kiwis about cheese. <laughs> like, my blood type is Gouda, alright? Like... <laughs> I 
Uh, yeah, okay, I did look in here. Um, here's the question. Do I go down in the basement and try to uh, tangle with that tough zombie now that I have the spear? Or do I just move on? Yeah, see, chocolate milk... Mmm. Mmm. Chocolate milk and tuna. No. Wow. Yeah, you, you know what the funny thing is? Well, it's actually not funny. It's the opposite of funny. Uh, but Wisconsin is known and has been known for... Uh, since 1848 as being the cheese state, the dairy state, right? But California produces more dairy products uh, than Wisconsin by a fair bit uh, and has for many years. Now, that may be because Wisconsin only has a population of 5 million people. Uh, I don't know if that's per capita or not. But, um, you know, that, that's been a thing for a while. But does, does California cheese really have soul? Nah, nah, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Hi, buddy! Alright. Come on up. Aw, oh, buddy. You are just a needy boy. In case you haven't seen him before, if you're new to the channel, this is my buddy, Lamp. Him is a good boy. Him just really needy and really loud. Oh, buddy. You a good boy? Okay, no, you're not a good boy, you little bastard. <laughs> Stop grabbing the microphone! <laughs> uh, you're full of rumbles, buddy. And I don't know if you can, uh, you can see it too much. Let me, let me, let me switch cameras here. See if I can, uh, if I can zoom in for you. Oh, God. Uh, hi, buddy. That's, that's not what I intended at all. You can see his uh, feet there. He got thumbs. He got lots of lots of extra toes. Don't you, buddy? Lots of extra toes. Are you are you done with this now already? You you came here to to scream and bat my microphone around. And now you're done. Yeah. Okay. Don't don't. Don't start doing this again where you push the microphone into my face, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Stop it! <laughs> uh, he's, he's just not going to let this happen. Uh, so it's, it's 710. Um, yeah. I'm going to leave you guys on a cliffhanger. We're going to go after the survival, uh, the zombie down here, but uh, this is where I'm going to call it because Lamp has decided that this is where I'm going to call it. Um, we're going to fire stream raiders a little early and then we're going to call it a stream and I'm going to try to do another stream on Friday. Um, and this, this seems to be popular. I mean, we got, what, four follows today? We got some new people in. Uh Buddy. <laughs> Come here. Oh my goodness. Uh we got some new people in. Um It's been fun. I'm really enjoying getting to streaming again. I'm really enjoying getting to Cataclysm again. Um let's go back to the face cam for a couple of seconds here. Um so yeah, uh for all you new people, uh I did formally uh, do Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays. I'm trying to get back to that or some semblance of that five to seven central ish. Um, I just had to stop because I had some health issues that I had to deal with, but they're mostly under control now. Um, so uh, at the bottom of the screen, you know, I'm sure you've seen the ticker tape go across with uh, Twitch you information, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. If you feel like following me on social media to get updates or just see my daily musings, uh, down below a little bit further, there's a link to the Discord. Um, there's a lot of, I don't want to say there's a lot of people. There's like 50 people in there, probably 10, 12 active people. Uh, but we talk about all sorts of stuff, music, IT-related stuff, this idiot, um, all the games I play, and just anything and everything. You know, we have fun. 
it's it's pretty chill it's pretty lax as long as you're not you know a bigot a homophobe uh anything like that you, you'll be fine uh so feel free to join any of that uh but also you don't have to i understand i'm in like 44 discords it's disgusting um i know i understand you know i can't add another discord to my list or whatever but uh if you did and you participated i would appreciate it let's see here let's find wow there's really nobody online that we can raid that is unfortunate One minute, 30 seconds for my fourth unit. All right. Uh, what, what, what are we at for the timer? Maybe, maybe we could stretch this out a bit because, I mean, Lamp's in my lap and he's happy. And as long as he's happy, he's not pushing the microphone into my face. So, uh, Sal. Who's Sal? Am I following Sal? I'm not following Sal. Who's Sal? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I don't necessarily have anything against that but i always try to raid small streamers just because i myself am a small streamer what's she uh what's she streaming Salford sal i know that name or fortress streamer is that what she's streaming Oh, she's streaming Oni. Yeah. Let's uh let's do uh let's do sell for sell. Ross Deuces. I can check that out. D U E C E S. Doesn't show that Ross Deuces is online. Only showing me past videos. Huh. Why is it? Let me, let me copy pasta out of chat there. Maybe I, maybe I misspelled it. It's entirely possible I misspelled it. It just shows past videos. Oh, but if I click on it, it says streaming now. All right. Well, I'll I'll leave it up to uh I'll leave it up to you guys. Do you want to see uh, oxygen not included, or do you want to see uh, Total War Warhammer Two? Uh, where's my where's my where's my thing? Oh well, that's 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 stupid. Um, all the buttons for me to start a poll are grayed out for some reason. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Across the pond, it's late. Here, let's do a let's do a quick poll. Who raid? Alfred Sal, streaming Oni, or Ross Deuces streaming Total War. You can buy votes? Really? That's fucking weird. Alright, polls up. Uh, if anybody's still here and they want to vote, uh, you get to you get to help guide the raid. Usually you have to spend lamps on that, but uh, I don't know. I'm torn. I don't mind raiding a new person. So far, we're at uh, three to one. See you, Veru. Thanks for stopping in, man. I appreciate it. Hope to see you again soon. Well, you should be able to just do one vote for free, but it it had an option to allow additional votes for channel points or bits, and that ugh. bits especially that feels scummy as hell. Channel points, eh? I mean, I know there's some people that like Charlie Bravo and TB that have been around my channel since the beginning i'm sure they've got six figures worth of channel points at this point uh-huh <laughs> but uh bits ugh. Ah, that feels scummy to me <laughs> a couple three yeah, so ross well i mean ross has got more followers than me uh, 
be fair, most people probably have more followers than me. That's fine. Got, what, four today? It was a good day. It's a real good day. Buddy, you are just too freaking cute. Spend all the lamps on lamp. <laughs> Yeah, basically every time she gets enough to uh, to say hi to Lamp, it's just Lamp. All right, so we're uh, raiding Ross Deuces. So stick around for that. Thanks, everybody, for coming and hanging out. I, uh, well, we got 30 seconds left. We'll run this battle, and then we'll raid him. Uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. I did my spiel about all my social media and my Discord stuff. Um, so I will leave you with this. It's very fuzzy. It's also very sharp. It, that's the trade-off, right? It can be very fuzzy, but then it has to be dangerous. <laughs> Bless the lamp. Bless the lamp. All right, we're ready to go. Buddy. Ugh. Just ugh. see, every time I pick him up, he does this. He walks over to his pillow and then tries to push the. Don't bite me, you little bastard! He tried to push the mic into my face, and when I stopped him, he bit me. What an asshole! <laughs> yeah, what do you think of that? <laughs> All right, let's switch over to Stream Raiders, and then we're gonna do the raid. Uh, so I have to use these, so we're just gonna start the battle. I probably should have used it. I forgot this one was listed as hard. Oh, someone died. Uh, we're doing good so far, but it's going to get real ugly in a hurry. I love the Wilhelm scream. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of ants. And those red ones are tough, buddy. Getting, uh, getting a little sparse on the battlefield. Got two epics still out there. That epic berserker of Cromulons is going to do fucking work. Yeah, we got this. We're good. We're good. Nice. Good job, everybody. 18 tokens. Holy hell. Uh, everybody gets eight coins. And Phantom Dusk with two Buster Scrolls. Outstanding. All right. Dude, look at that. I got look at all these reward tiers I got for that. 50 bucks, 100 bucks. Yeah, that was that was fantastic. Tank scrolls, archer scrolls, more gold, tiny band-aid healer skin. Oh boy, I like that. More and artillery. Oh, that's hot. I haven't seen that before. Okay. Yeah. So thanks everybody for coming and hanging out. And we're going to raid Ross Deuces. So stick around for that. Raid. I, I better I better copy paste it again because I've already typed it in wrong once and I can't be trusted with fingers. Invalid username. I'm telling you, I copied and pasted it. How is it invalid? E-E-U-C-E-S. Okay. There we go. We're ready. All right. Peace out, everybody. Hopefully see you all Friday.